You know, every time I drive through Old Town, Arvada, and go by the church that previously was Arvada Methodist Church, I marvel at the history, 150 plus years, of how this congregation has served its community, has visioned into a future unafraid, has stepped forward not only in physical moves, but also the moves that the congregation had to make within their spirit, within their vision, within their imaginations for us to be where we are today. And I think about in, in our generation, how could we be as bold in our witness? How could we be as firm in the foundation that we're laying for future generations? And we have an opportunity as a church that we're going to take a journey, if you will, from 2023 to 2025 called the New Foundations Legacy Campaign. This is going to be an opportunity for us to think about how we grow our church's endowment so that we can draw a portion of that endowment of its interest every year to help fund the capital expenses of our church. Now we might be thinking, why is this important? Why is this something we need to be thinking about as a church? Well, as our expenses as a church facility and as a church ministry continue to grow, and as congregation members continue to age, we have a responsibility to think about how we fund ministry into the future. Many people over a decade ago took on that responsibility and began to imagine how to do this by growing an endowment for our church, a perpetual fund that could not be touched. The principal cannot be touched, but the income can generate resources for the future of the congregation. I'm with Steve Greenhall, the chair of the board of our United Methodist Foundation here at Arvada United Methodist Church. Steve and his wife Susan came to us from Michigan and um, had a vision of how we could grow our endowment to help resource the future of our church. And he's just an example of how God provides us with the gifts and the resources and talents of people within in our congregation to help us meet these challenges and these opportunities for our future. So Steve, I'm wondering if you could tell us a little bit about why this is an important effort in your opinion and what's coming up to start this whole campaign as a church. Well, Amy, our, our, and thank you very much for that very kind <clears throat> introduction. What's specifically what's coming up is our March 19th luncheon. Uh, which is going to be the kickoff of a campaign to build the church's endowment. When we first, my wife Susan and I first moved here uh, four and a half years ago, um, one thing I wanted to get involved in, of course I wanted to get involved in the church, but I've had some experience with endowments uh, when we lived in Michigan, and I took one look at the, the church's uh, financial statements and I immediately concluded that the endowment is inadequate. We're not just taking up space here. We have a legacy that we need to leave for our children and the future members of the church. And it has to be able to operate over long periods of time. That's what an endowment is all about. And so <clears throat> I, I am happy and honored to, to be in a position to make that happen here. Thank you, Steve. And we have been joined by so many other folks in our congregation who are on our endowment board, who are on a design team, who are going to be preparing our kickoff luncheon on March 19th, as well as helping us through the next two years to continue to have classes and gatherings to learn about what an endowment is and how we can give towards an endowment. Please plan on joining us and making a reservation for our March 19th kickoff luncheon for the new Foundation's Legacy Fund campaign. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to Steve or myself or any of our Foundation board members and others whom you will get acquainted with throughout these next two years. As we grow in grace and faith together, as we consider our own commitment to this incredibly important campaign, and as we imagine together what kind of legacy we will leave for those generations yet to come and be a part of the bold and faithful and diverse and inclusive witness of Arvada United Methodist Church.